So my name is Huntington Kalonji. Okay. Who's gonna demonstrate the experiment? Starting from the south of the equator. Then at the south, if I pour water on top of this funnel here, you see the water draining anti-clockwise. Okay. Then when you go to the northern hemisphere, it will change and drains clockwise. Wow. But right on the equator line, there'll be no movement. The water just drops straight down. Hmm. This is caused by the Coriolis effect. Okay. So the magnetic fields. So show me what you have your bucket. Yeah, so that's what I call the bucket and pour the water here. And then after pouring, I stabilize it. And make it still. Okay, this, so this stops the water moving. Yeah. And after it moving, it 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 oh yes. So that's definitely going uh, anti-clockwise. Anti-clockwise, okay. Brilliant. Okay, sir. So now let's proceed to the other side and see what will happen to this side. Okay, I'm following you. This isn't. This is not magic water, huh? Okay. So you now the mouth. I'll do the same thing. Just pour the water here. It is going clockwise to the northern hemisphere. Okay. Also, have to neutralize it. Have to stabilize. I make, see. Make the water calm down. Okay. Then I have to bring it still. Bring it down again. Now it's definitely going clockwise. Yeah. This way. Yeah. It's moving clockwise. That's amazing. Yes, and I'll have to pull it right on the line and see what happens. Okay. There's no lactic line, there is no movement. No movement. So let me get the same water, same bucket, same okay. flower, see what's going to happen. Same water, same bucket, same flower. <laughs> so you're now right on okay. the line. Are we exactly in the line? Zero latitude line. Yeah, okay, I like it. Where you weigh 3% less. Oh yes. So your body weight on the equator is less by three percent. Let me come around so I can see what we're doing here. Okay. All right, straight, stabilized. And we're stabilizing the water. Mm -hmm. It's come down. And after come down, come down this flower. We want to see what's going to happen here. And boom! Go straight down, huh? Straight down. Then when you stand right here on the twenty-first of March. Oh, yes. On the 23rd of September, those two days call them equatorial equinoxes days. Okay. That's when the sun rises and sets directly above the equator line. So if we look straight through these lines, we can see that... Yeah, at midday you have no shadow on the equinox because that's when the sun is overhead, just at 12 noon. And so the sun rises straight so over there? Above the equator line. On that certain day? On those two days, the 21st of March. And, and it sets right over your shop? In the west. It's the west. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, sir. Really, that was excellent. Yeah. Let's take a quick picture together here, bud. Here we are, on the nice equator. Thank you very much, sir. Okay.